bring Peter and Andy. Andy is not on anymore. Peter. Peter, they're back in a uh, public session. Yeah. We need to get Andy back in here. Yeah, he knocked himself off of Zoom so he can, if he wants to come in. So, Mr. Chair, we're we're back in public meeting now. I believe so. I have a point of order, and my point of order would be: How would I, or where would I put a motion that within the next couple months, or um, that we address this issue? That the issue I'm talking about, the organizational structure of the general manager, secretary, and the uh, general counsel. Well, I would imagine we need to talk to our general counsel in regards to that. Uh, what we were talking about is that um, to see if we can rearrange structures in the right in relationship to salaries. Uh, we've had a discussion in regards to that. We'd like to have that discussion sometime in the future. And we need to know, uh, Mr. Fleming, how we make that motion in regards to the salary uh, recommendation. Do you have an idea? And I can be more specific if you'd wish, Mr. Chair, what I'm looking at so they're not caught off guard. If That's fine. So, uh, Andy and Peter, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I, I feel that the chief executive officer, or in our particular case, the secretary and general manager, should be, receive higher compensation, and I've discussed this, I think, with both of you in the past, than the general counsel. And that's not to take away from value. It's just for us as a board to take a look at that because my belief is, is that the responsibilities of a general manager generally, and in specifically in our case, which is driven by our bylaws, which very are very specific in the duties of the secretary and general manager are much broader than that of our in-house general counsel. So I'd like to have that discussion. We I brought it up last year and maybe even the year before, I can't remember, but I do remember last year and I feel like I'm not getting any progress on it. And so I'd like to have that discussion um, within the not too distant future. Um, that's what I'm wondering about. I, I mean, I, I think... Um, uh, or, or, the so just if you can keep it real brief so that our representative from Pickens County can leave. Sure. Did you want to take... Um, I'm just asking for a procedural recommendation. Do I make a motion now that we that we take a look at the issue of, uh, of who the highest... Our two top executive officer and the structure of that? Or do I just get assurance we're going to take a look at it at a board meeting in the not-too-distant future? Well, I think that next year is is um, for the um, triennial triennial salary survey um, time frame, and, and and when we do that, normally the board has a discussion about its compensation policy. It, it, from my perspective, you can do it whenever you want. Um, I suppose the question I, I, I'm not maybe I'm not catching exactly what you're proposing, uh, Director McGinnis, but if your proposal is to address it today for setting 2024 salaries, then you know you 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 set the salaries as you choose. That's up to the board. If it is more of a policy discussion for going down the road, that seems to be to be something that you know be fair game for the board to take up during its discussion of, um, on the salary survey process uh, as 2024 proceeds. Well, I prefer the former, but I don't think it's appropriate now considering our quorum and things like that. But I do want some kind of an assurance from the management team. And by the way, it does not reduce the general counsel's pay. It just simply moves the, 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 the general manager higher. And I would sure. like separate than our tri-county or whatever survey. I'd like to have that as a separate issue so we can discuss it, look over. And so I'd be happy if the management would just put that on a board agenda in the too distant future. And, that's the end of my comments. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 
Thank yeah, you. And if I could just respond, one more point would just be that, that, you know, as long as that's a policy discussion, you can have that whenever you choose. If it's a personnel review matter, then, you know, it would have to go through the appropriate um, procedures and, and um, you know, potential executive session discussions. But uh, it sounds to me like it's not, it's just a policy discussion about compensation, regardless of who is in the respective roles. That's correct. And that, that would okay. be something you could bring up at any time. Does that satisfy your concerns, Director? Yes, thank you. Thank you for your patience. All right, we're, we're in public session. Uh, we need to take an action in regards to this personnel matter. Um, does someone have a motion? So moved. Second. Marty. Uh, did you make the motion, Representative? I, I, I think I think Director McGinnis made a motion, but I wasn't clear what it was. I'll yield to go ahead, Marty. I just thought there was a silence, and I thought, well, somebody better move it. So, yeah. to uh, Marty. All right. Um, I would I would move that we approve five point five percent increases for um, both our general manager and our general <laughs> counsel in keeping with the proposed 5.5% uh, 5 .5 increases for the rest of staff. I'll second it. We've got a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, the motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So where are we at now, man, Mr. Secretary, General Man? I, I believe that uh, you can adjourn the, the, the meeting. That's the last item of business. All right. I don't even need a motion. <laughs> All right. Power. Draw power. Okay. We're adjourned then, I guess. We're going to adjourn you, this man. meeting. Thank you, all of you, for being here. Thanks for your efforts. Thanks for your work. If I don't see you before, Merry Christmas to everybody. Take good care of yourselves out there. We need all of you. Thank you. Thank you.